a balance for them because they stand to earn a lot of money, mm -hmm. but at the same time, if you're not here and your quality of life isn't good, then you're not able to enjoy what you've worked for. Yeah. Right. And really, right. that's kind of at the heart of Earl Thomas's argument about why he's holding out. So just to brief you, in case you um, haven't been following the, star, the story, the Seahawks star and safety Earl Thomas, he's finally opening up about what is going on with him and the team. Earl has yet to report the Seahawks training camp, which actually started earlier this week. So he wrote this essay. He really opened up. It was an in-depth article for the Players' Tribune explaining why he is holding out. And it's titled, Here's What's Actually Going On. Like, the uh -huh. title's pretty direct, right? He wrote, If you're risking your body to deliver all of this value to an organization, then you deserve some sort of assurance that the organization will take care of you if you get hurt. It's that simple. This isn't new and this isn't complicated. It's the reason I'm holding out. I want to be able to give my everything on every play without any doubt in my mind. Earl continued on that he's ready to play, wants to play, but instead he is working out and waiting. And yeah. I have to say, you know, reading the entire article, I was like, oh, he kind of has a point. Yeah. And it made me want to know, okay, what's the NFL side in all this? Um, because I think in if you know, all of, our, all of our jobs, we have workers comp right. if we're injured. But then some people say, well, they're making a lot of money. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's And the hard part, too, is the timing of it all. Right, because you want to get a lot of money beforehand, and now I think we were talking. Isn't Earl Thomas around 30 years old? Mm -hmm. So he's going in on a different side of his career, which I know you guys are going to get into a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But now the question is, should he get that money from this organization, or should mm -hmm. he yeah. get that money from another organization? Well, I agree. so many perspectives, and it's easy to say, oh, they get all this money, and to you know, everybody's right. so generous yeah. with right. everybody mm -hmm. else's money, right. as we like to say. Uh -huh. And this morning we were talking about. Who should we talk to for perspective? Do we get an agent? Uh, you know, we were all trying to figure out who we reach out to. And the first person I thought of was, well, I'd love to talk to a player because normally they side with other players. But sure. in this case, I reached out to Brock Heward, the Husky great, former pro, current analyst on ESPN Radio, ESPN TV today. And he was cool enough to take five for us. He was actually over there at the VMAC with the Hawks today. He was cool enough to take five to tell us his perspective. And it might be not what you think. Yeah, was not surprised to hear from Earl Thomas. He's one of the most emotional Seahawks that uh, we've all gotten to know over the last eight or nine years. And I knew eventually he was not going to just be able to sit and keep quiet. And he writes his letter through the Players' Tribune, an outlet right now that a lot of players are comfortable doing so, getting their voice heard. And uh, while I understand where Earl's coming from, I agree very little with some of his perspective because unfortunately for Earl, he's got one more year left with eight and a half million dollars and the Seahawks were pretty clear from early on that they just were not going to extend him and renew that contract and give him a third contract. And frankly, they're not doing it because they learned their lesson. Cam Chancellor, a third contract. Michael Bennett, a third contract. Marshawn Lynch, a third contract. And all of those don't come to fruition. They don't go the right way. And I think the Seahawks have been very clear with both Earl, with KJ Wright, with Tyler Lockett, with John Ryan. You're gonna have to play out the final year of your deal, no matter how well a story you spin on the Players' Tribune and no matter how adamant you are that you want to get taken care of for what you've done in the past. The NFL is not a league that takes care of you for what you've done in the past. It is a not-for-long league that pays you for what you're going to do in the future.